What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models, and today is Saturday, uh, August uh, 23rd, 2015. And like I said before, uh, the, today is the day I am going to announce the winner of the Petite Guy Custom Contest that I started back in July 5th. Everybody had a good 45 days. Well, roughly two and a half months, you could say, on ta you know getting that little petite bear guy that I picked up and turning in, you know, making it into a custom kit, and uh, it's now high time we show off all the custom builds that has been submitted. Now, uh, so you know, uh, I only received four submissions. I was actually holding out a few more hours to see maybe if somebody was going to submit something, but nobody else did. So there were only there were only four, and I can understand if everybody else had other projects or maybe no one has got around to seeing my video in regards to this. So don't worry, you know. Hopefully, in a few months, maybe next year, I'll do another contest, something like this. I don't do that many contests at all. So this is actually my second one. Well, first one I did was from another. Um, another sponsor that I did a long time ago but this is this is all on me this is on my dime and I'm hoping to see some unique custom builds using the petite bear guy I keep saying petite bear guy but yeah it, it's petite guy but you, you guys all know what I mean so without further ado let's review the four entries that I received we will begin with this one that was submitted by a gentleman by the name of Thomas Walker. And by the way, I am going based on the names that's on their Facebook page. Mr. Walker introduced this dark petite guy, which I find it very intriguing. I like it for many things. First thing, the paint job is clean, smooth, no, no imperfections anywhere. Um, I like the, f the the breastplate all glossy red, the ears, the eyes painted red, the nose black, the uh, the parts of the parts of the uh, where the blaster hands are and the feet, and the face mask is the chrome. I like that, and of course he added an added touch. He created custom little um, uh, eyebrows, like a you know. I, I kind of I, I I like to refer. Everybody gave me uh, submitted like a name of their car of their petite guy, and I should have said that. So I'm going to call it Dark Petite Guy. And uh, I see I don't see no problems with his design. It's nice and clean. Very good detail in the photographs. Nice and good close-ups. The bow, of course, painted chrome. I see here. I like the effect of it firing its little like a little fire. And good paint job, you know, putting a little white at the tip, uh, at the end of where it begins. Uh, added surprise, of course, a little red in the bottom of the feet. Perfect. Excellent. Very, very clean. I like that. Alright. So let's go on to the next um, entry. This one was submitted by a gentleman by the name of Martino Nauri Nauri Raiz or Risa or Risa Raisa no Raisa or Rai uh, again forgive me if I'm butchering your name I apologize but I'll call you Martino and you submitted your entry of the um, one big happy family bear guys which is basically the petite bear guy two petite bear guys the pink and the blue the light blue followed by a white petite bear guy the petite uh, bear guy I mean sorry the regular bear guy F from the the set and then of course bear guy 3 uh, very good entries of course nice and oh and I didn't realize that oh you know what that's because the other picture shows from the other pack so okay oh actually no there's one two three four mini uh, petite guys followed by two bear guy uh, bear guy uh, threes so that's good very good the next entry is from a gentleman by the name of Ian Barto, and he did his Petite TriStar from the from the Black TriStar team. <laughs> Very good.
very uh, nice combination of colors. We all seem to like purple or lavender on our kits, and that one looks very good, very good. I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's the way the camera is shot, but it looks a little bit of a pre-shading in there. You know, I, I can't tell. Uh, white legs and face plate. Um, back instead of using the bow in the back, he uses the little um, uh, symbol of the Xeon. Can't tell if it's from another kit or he custom made that. So that's interesting. Uh, side view looks good, of course, and you see it, you know, dominating a ball, high grade, of course, that is. So pretty nice. The fourth entry was submitted by the gentleman by the name of John Chen, and he wrote down the Sinjor Bear Guy. Interesting custom design. A petite, a petite knight guy, you could say, with sword and shield and all. It kind of reminds me of the character from Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, looking at it around the kit, I uh, looks like it's. Uh, I can't tell. I can't tell if he used uh, putty around the um, the face, uh, around the, um, the around the body, excuse me, or he used f aluminum foil. I'm sorry, I should be saying this correctly. I can't tell if he's using putty, which he covered the entire kit, and then he spray painted with uh, chrome, or he's using um, aluminum foil. That's what I was trying to say, so I'm sorry if I didn't come out right. Um, but okay, it's original, it's a custom, good one, very good. Okay, so, those are the four entries that I'm showing off right now. And uh, after two days of me looking at it, studying it, looking at the close-up of the kits, I finally decided to announce the winners. Now, clearly, uh, for those of you who know, there are three prizes, but there are only four entries, so apparently only one person will not win. So I apologize, but thank you for entering. And we're going to start from third prize. And the third prize winner goes to Ian Bartow with his Petite Tri-Star uh, guy. Uh, petite Tri-Star guy. Good work. Excellent. I, very nice. Um, can't uh, the quality of the video, the photo is not too well, and uh, I think uh, you know the paint job is very good and decent. But uh, yeah, you you win third place, so uh, I will be sending you an email soon enough to let you know. Second prize winner goes to John Chen with his Sinjor Bear Guy or Sinjor Bear Guy Petite Bear Guy. Original, very nice. Just um, looks it, it, it looks like it needed a little bit more work. Um, it it felt like it was a little rushed, but I, I I'm but you definitely win third place. I'm sorry, second. Excuse me. You definitely win second place. And of course, the winner, the grand prize winner, is goes to Thomas Walker. Everything looks clean. Everything looks detailed. Uh, I don't see. Uh, I mean, other than um, a little bit of um, thing around the um, the bow along the edge where you see it's a little, uh, looks like it needs a little bit. But everything is overall clean. It doesn't look like it's rushed. Um, better paint job. I like it. So yes, Mr. Uh, Walker, you have won. Congratulations. I will be sending you an email as well, and then of course on Monday you contact uh, for those all three of you. Hopefully, you all three have um, accounts with uh, Gundam Planet. I will credit your account with the amount that I mentioned. First place gets fifty dollars, second place gets thirty, and third place gets twenty. So again, I'd like to thank you all for participating in this contest. I'd like to thank everyone else who 
watch this video and uh, hopefully in a couple of I, I did this because I reached the 10,000 mark I don't think I'll do it again when I reach the 11,000 mark I will think I'll wait until I hit 15,000 so at that time we'll do a little we'll go a little bit bigger a little bit more extravagant so I'd like to thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come you guys all take care